What's up guys? As promised, we're checking out the Hyphonics Alpha A3000.1D. Now this is a super nice looking amp. It's black with some machined fins and the blue Hyphonics logo. Pretty small compared to the other Hyphonics amplifiers and I believe this is their flagship amplifier at like 460 bucks. It's definitely one of the most expensive. Um, as you can see, it's on the box, it's rated at 3,000 times 1, 1,500 at 2 ohms, and 750 at 4 ohms. So we're going to see what it does. We got the, our new product, the Hi-Fi Vector DL14 Audio Dyno Dummy Load, which does 1 ohm, 1.3, 2 and 4 ohms. Go ahead, and the website's up soon if you know anybody interested, hi-fi-vector.com. So if you didn't watch the last video that I did on the Hyphonics Theta 3200 watt amp, it was an epic fail, only putting out 1500 watts. So I really hope the same thing doesn't happen here. So without further ado, turn the DL14 on, power supply is ready. All right, 40 hertz test tone at 2 ohms. Let's see what we get. Four ohms, sorry. Okay, 546 at four ohms. Uh, so that's really shy of the 750 that it's rated at. And I believe that was similar to the Theta amplifier's reading. So let's clear that out. All right, let's do a two ohm load. Two ohm test on, 40 hertz. Alpha A3000D. All right, 40 hertz at two ohms. Let's see what this baby does. Rated at 1500 watts. Wow, 939 watts at two ohms. That's terrible. It's rated at 1500 watts. And this is their flagship amplifier that's over four hundred and fifty dollars all right well let's try the one ohm test and pray it does better because I really don't like seeing bad things that are this far off you know I know everything maybe would be a couple hundred watts off or something but all right guys here we go rated at three thousand watts can it do it or is it going to be a total failure? Let's see right now. Oh my gosh. 1,482 watts all the way up to clipping. Rated at 3,000 watts. Oh, and I hate doing that, man, because, you know, Hyphonics is one of those brands. They do have some really good stuff, but unfortunately, it looks like they got some not so great stuff in there too so regardless of what you want to think 450 bucks for 1500 watts is not a good deal so um, and I I want to just add some good onto that because like I said it's not all bad I hate saying anything bad the Hyphonics BRX okay which we use it right here in our shop for testing our electronics. This thing is a workhorse. It puts out 2,900 watts on our dyno all day long. So this unfortunately is just not a great amplifier from Hyphonics. So again, if you're looking at a Hyphonics, get a BRX. And we're also going to do a dyno. We've already done it here in the shop. The Gamma series amps. They're a tiny bit underrated, but they're very close. So the Gamma and the BRX amps, in my opinion, and on the dyno right now, are the ones to get if you're looking at a Hyphonics amp. All right, guys. Thanks again. Like and subscribe. Until next time, keep, keep, uh, keep an eye out for the Brutus Gamma 3300 dyno that we're going to do here pretty soon. Um, that's a great amp. So that's going to be a good one to watch. It's going to put out some good numbers. We've already checked it in the shop. 
Um, and like I said, our trusty Hyphonics BRX3016 is a great amp. So, I'm actually a Hyphonics fan because I've had some of their amps that are great, but just let you know, avoid this one unless you just want 1500 watts and you like the way it looks because it just does not do anywhere near the power. Thanks guys, take care.